you. Two times they gon' still doubt. Hey, now I got a three P. Gotta flood the streets till they need deep. Gotta stay woke, can't be sleep. All this fly shit don't be cheap. All these bad bitches that we keep round. Pockets gotta be deep now. Never lose again, living me deep down. Gotta keep winning, it's a clean sweep now. Tell her back it up, you hit three beeps now. Big truck, little bitch. Call me Greek freak, big bucks, little bitch. Paid in full, little ace, little Mitch. You a Rico, little case, you'll snitch. Not from Chicago, but too shy to speak. Ask where's Waldo, I'm too high to seek. Move like cargo, I do fly every week. Princes in Lagos, Dubai with sheiks. Hey, where I go, new vibe the freak. Told I'm Drago, you Apollo Creed. Far as high cars go, you guys to me. I'm Mercy Lago, and you dry your feet. I'm that ball in the hood. New lamb truck got the ball in the hood. Black and red looking like the balls at the hood. 23s on it, got the ball sitting good. This game six, this can't miss. Shooting my shot, wrist hang swish. Ice my shit like I just sprained this. Millie plain Jane and that bitch stainless. Look, money talk, shorty speaking this language. Buy her a car, she gon' switch lanes quick. I got shut up money, I don't explain shit. Do you wanna boss up or just change shifts? Pretty little joint and she gets things lit. Baby got a crew on some rich gang shit. P and B and Meek must know this same bitch. If you look in her eyes, man, that shit's dangerous on God. On a gang on bros, no bullshit. You the one, D Rose. Pass me the pippin, the long nose. Then it's game over, the horn blows. This the last shot. You tryna be on the team or be the mascot? Wanna be the first lady or the last stop? I'm paying Dwayne Wade, but I flash knots. Whoa. I thought you could have been Jordan. Found out that you wasn't even been Gordon. Next one get flewed out, I'm keeping them boarding. Like Tony Kuko, I'm foreign and important. Yeah, I cannot bullshit with none of y'all. I got a bullseye on some of y'all. I feel like Michael in 95. Back on my bullshit this summer, y'all. Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight tilt between Mauricio Shogun Hua 
And the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out. My right? striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one? That's gonna control where this fight takes place. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Who gets caught with that punch? Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Straight right, he misses. Under two minutes to go in the round. Israel Adesanya's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really strong. Wow. Both fighters hanging down. Wow. He's good. Big knee there. Oh. He's a He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. So, under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action packed first round. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent has yet. He's trying to keep a good poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, so suddenly he'll change his stance. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. This they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Let's go, guys, fight! Back to orthodox. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over! He got him! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that added all, and for my money, his best performance. Tonight. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Mount Everest. Ain't got shit on me.
Cause I'm on top of the world I'm on top of the world Yeah March by Ain't got shit on me I know Ain't got shit on me Cause I'm on top of the world I'm on top of the world Yeah Alright, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight tilt between Alexander Gustafson and Israel Adesanya. for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Big knee there. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Shot there. Knee to the body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And that one was heavy. Heavy. Defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice, hit, nice. nice jab there. Oh! Yeah. How about those five minutes? <laughs> All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. 
he got off his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, this should be good. Here we go with the start of round two, Alexander Gustafson. And that man, Israel Adesanya. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Big knee there to the chest. Nobody has forced him to use it yet. Let's see what he does with this position. 60 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And unofficially landing with 56% accuracy against Alexander Gustafsson. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, big elbow. Punches and punches, punches and punches. Let's go. Nice punch by Gustafson. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that... Oh, what a shot to the body. He told us he was going to be Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Two minutes now to go. Oh, that's a second. You see, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. So a much different approach for him here. Oh, oh, oh picture perfect body shot there. He's just unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? One minute. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big knee there. Oh, nice high kick. and now he's got his opponent hurt. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of it. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over, but the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Third round underway. Oh, oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, what a shot to the body. He's going to have it. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. He used a lot of body work to slow down his opponent. Once his opponent slowed down, he was able to really impose his will on him <clears throat> and get the finish in such a high-profile fight. <laughs> So 
So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Don't let me alone. 